Hey, it's Drew Lyons from Automator, and this cool little script, you can work, use it to save basically anything very quickly, but I'm going to pretend here I'm trying to save a bunch of Taco Tuesday pictures. Now, if I was manually doing this, I'd have to right-click, say, save image as, and then it's going to, I'd have to, here's one name, download. Great, but now my next one, save image as, um, oh, download, and it's going to increment it that way, but that's not very helpful, right? What would be cool, so I'm going to launch my script. Now I can give it a name. So I'm gonna say Taco Tuesday, increment at one. Also in the preferences, I can choose how many zeros to pad it with and have a, this hotkey pulls back this window up. But uh, let me go back to the, the preferences here. And so yeah, Taco Tuesday, reset counter, we're not gonna worry about that, increment by program name. So if I was in PowerPoint, it would actually track, you know, if I was saving multiple times um, this would if i turn that off if i could save it here and then go to powerpoint and it would look for that save as dialogue so borrow but normally i think you want this on and i can disable auto save however i'm going to demonstrate it first with auto save on because what it does is it'll automatically save it to your last folder at least in chrome so i'm gonna hit apply and now come back into chrome and say save image as and I don't know if you even saw it, right? There's one, save image as, two, save image as, three. Now let's look here um, and notice compared to the download, we've got the Taco Tuesdays part of the name and we're incrementing them. This also, the zeros help so they can be sorted later very easily. So I think it's very cool. Uh, again, if I want, I forget the hotkey because I haven't used it. Win shift H, um, I'm gonna, turn off the autosave and hit apply. And so now when I come back into Chrome, let's go to the next one, save image as, actually I could do the same one, right? And it would bring it up here. It names it, does it, but it doesn't hit the save automatically. So that's what that autosave is just basically does everything versus you can turn that off. So yeah, I wanna make a change or I wanna make sure I'm in the right folder, right? Um, very cool little program. Yep, and what it does is it looks at the last number and then it increments it. So, or, and there's a win shift H. So if I start this and I'm gonna hit auto save. Now, if I come in here, save image as. Notice it had taco in there, save image as. So just a great way to save. If you're saving a lot of stuff, uh, it's a great way to, I think, speed up what you're doing there. Notice. That's funny is it actually kept the incrementing going, the taco six here. Um, probably if that name changes, we should uh, use a different number. Um, it should start over or I can reset the counter. Oh, and I, I didn't realize that I could actually start. I can choose this number here if I want to start at a certain spot, right? So um, very cool tool. Uh, I'll put the URL up here. If you're interested, go ahead and go grab that. Uh, it'd be a dollar like our other scripts. Right, that's really just to kind of clean up the traffic of people being uh, rude and giving us bad email addresses. So hope you're having a great day. Uh, please like the video if you learned something really helps us out. If you want to learn how to do these kind of things, consider, um, I'd say our either inter, intro to auto hockey or an immediate auto hockey course um, would cover some of the things that were used in this tool. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.